The Nixon Presidential Library and Museum reopened its new and more comprehensive Watergate exhibit. The goal of the exhibit was to create what we might call now iPad history, a totally interactive, comprehensive collection of information about the Watergate scandal including incidences of governmental abuses of power. The previous exhibit was considered to be a sanitized view of the scandal that forced the first ever resignation of a president while in office. How could visitors believe the stories of President Nixon's successes in building dictante, in opening the door to China, and in producing some of the most progressive domestic policy of the second half of the 20th century if those galleries were attached to an incomplete, inaccurate, and whitewashed Watergate gallery? The new exhibit includes many portions of the recordings made in the Oval Office by President Nixon. You can hear Charles Colson in November, November 71 uh, reminding the president of E. Howard Hunt and what the Cubans were up to. Another section focuses on the Senate Watergate panel's testimony, including the day the existence of the tapes was revealed. Listening devices? Yes, sir. When were those devices placed in the Oval Office? Approximately the summer of 1970, I cannot begin to recall the precise date. Local residents got a chance to see the new Watergate exhibit. I had seen the original exhibit and I appreciate the fact that the um, archivists are uh, trying to present it in a nonpartisan way, which I think is important for our country. I spent a lifetime in local government back in Massachusetts and, and this um, really reaffirms uh, the strength of our system. I'd like to come back and spend a lot of time here. Mark Eads reporting for OCRegister.com.